The kissing number problem. A broad category of problems in math are called the sphere packing problems. They range from pure math to practical stuff, like figuring out how to stack many spheres in a given space, like fruit at the grocery store. Some of these problems have solutions, but others, like the kissing number problem, are still tricky. When a bunch of spheres are packed in some region, each sphere has a kissing number, which is the number of other spheres it's touching. If you're touching five neighboring spheres, then your kissing number is five. Nothing tricky. A packed bunch of spheres will have an average kissing number, which helps mathematically describe the situation. But a basic question about the kissing number stands unanswered. A one-dimensional thing is a line, and a two-dimensional thing is a plane. For these low numbers, mathematicians have proven the maximum possible kissing number for spheres of that many dimensions. It's two when you're on a 1D line, one sphere to your left and the other to your right. There's proof of an exact number for three dimensions, although that took until the 1950s. Beyond three dimensions, the kissing problem is mostly unsolved. Mathematicians have slowly whittled the possibilities to fairly narrow ranges for up to 24 dimensions, with a few exactly known, as you can see on this chart. For larger numbers or a general form, the problem is wide open. There are several hurdles to a full solution, including computational limitations. So expect incremental progress on this problem for years to come.